Hello everyone, I'm Tanya Curry. Today's video is on a continuation of what is spiritual warfare. Again, I would love to know how you guys are doing. Um, let me know in the comments. I do appreciate you guys communicating back and giving your um, insight your testimonies, um, just letting me know how you're doing. I appreciate it, and I want to thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, lets me know that I'm not out here talking to myself. I do enough of that on my own. But um, I really do would like to know how you guys are doing, not just the ladies. I know a lot of these titles or uh, labels of my channels sound like they're just for women, um, that's who they're dedicated to. I am a woman. Um, but I do know men listen in because I do know I have men in my family and some of them listen in. Um, and this is to encourage always all of us. Uh, not so much that I'm saying anything that you never heard before, but sometimes it's good to have these seeds that's already planted and been watered in us to get, um, fresh water, fresh growth fresh insight you know god is doing it all um he's just using each one of us to um pour into one another and this is the things that i come to you is because i've been sitting with god and talking to god and he directs me on what to come and uh, make videos on that he tells me that whoever out here needs to hear it you know, they'll hear it. It'll be confirmation to them. It'll be, if it's something new, then that's a new seed that's planted. But most of these seeds are God watering and um, giving the increase. You know, um, with my Widow to Widow channel, I love how he gave me Habakkuk 2-2. Two -two. You know, write the vision and make it plain. You know, who he who run with it, uh, read it, will run with it. And when a lot of the stuff and things that I was doing, um, he was the one reading it and running with it. So <laughs> sometimes it's another human being, but it's, it's that human being that God placed there. And a lot of times what he does is himself. He, 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 he reads it and run with it. He gives it to us. Then he reads it and run with it. I mean, he's just amazing. He's just brilliant. You know, I just thank God for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for my father, for Abba, for the Holy Spirit that leads and guide me. And I thank him for allowing me to do this as a servant of him, of his. And um, this is going to be most likely posted on the human rights movement. I think because I, I changed the name. And it was a couple things, but it's funny because the email gets to stay the same because of the initials. And that's just like God. He he does that. Um, so it's the human rights movement. And I put projects on the end because there's a lot of projects that he's given me through this. Um, and this is one of them. Um, a lot of t things starts within the mind. So it makes sense why he has me. There's a lot that he's given me, but he's shown me how to put it in order and what to give first. And I love how he does it because this makes sense to deal with the things that gets us thinking of the mind, transforming of the mind. And that also makes sense because that's my field. You know, the things that I speak on, the things that I coach in, that is the transformation of the mind. We could talk about things, but are we transforming? Are we transitioning? And that's my biggest thing. You know, I've never been a type of person that just get involved in something just to be getting involved in it. it had to have a purpose. It has to mean something. It has to do something. I need to do something with it, you know, or I'm just standing still. But I don't want this video to be acting up. It's still recording. So let me hit day two, what is spiritual warfare? And I love it because I found out it's dealing with the armor of God. It says, which I started the other day, um, arm of God. Um, this actually is dealing with the belt, the breastplate, and the shoes. Armor of God, part one. This is the devotion, that's the title. Much like a soldier will put on metal armor during metal 
during the battle. If Ephesians 6 describes the spiritual armor of God and how it works in our lives. This is the illustration for us in how to fight the forces of darkness in the spiritual realm. The armor consists of six pieces and is complete when we activate prayer in our lives. Today we'll discuss the first three components, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes of the gospel of peace. Okay, we're going into the belt of, of truth. The belt of truth, for the soldier, this was the first part that was put on. Every other part of the armor was attached to this. God's word is our source of truth. and it It's the belt we must put on first. Before we incorporate the rest, as Christ followers, we must stand on God's truth at all times. We use the guide, uh, we use it to guide our prayer, to help us not sin, and to strengthen us when we are afraid. Knowing God's truth prevents us from having a refined, from having to refine what truth is, depending on the circumstances we're, we're facing. As we learned in day one, our spiritual enemy main goal is deception. Deception is so hard because we're deceived. Become When we're deceived, we become blind to it. That's why we must know God's truth. The breastplate, the breastplate of righteousness. For the soldier, the breastplate protects the most vital organs. When we live righteously or <clears throat> the right way this brings an added an added measure of protection choose to live right before the lord and doing our best to obey god will give satan less ammunition to bombard us with we don't do this to earn love from god but we prevent but to prevent us from unnecessary hardship that we bring on ourselves with our poor choices when we choose sin, we, symboli we symbolically remove our breastplate and that opens us up to attack from Satan. This is about achieving perfection. This isn't about achieving perfection or living according to our opinion of right, but choosing to live a life that lines up with God's truth. Shoes of the gospel of peace. For the soldier, the shoes provided protection as well as a strong foundation. When a soldier went to battle, it was vital that he didn't have to worry about his feet. The gospel of peace is our firm footing, for it helps us to stand tall, protect us we, we, as we step into the battle. Being assured of this will keep us firmly planted when life struggles and Satan attacks comes our way. Not only that, but our feet must be ready at all times so that we can share the gospel of Jesus. This gospel, the good news, is the salvation for all mankind. We must know it, live it, and be ready to proclaim it. Scripture is John 8. 31 and 32 then said jesus to those jews which believeth on him if ye continue in my word then ye are ye my disciples indeed if ye continue in my word then ye then are ye my disciples indeed 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free Again, 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Acts 4, 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given amongst men, where be we must be saved. That's Acts 4, 12. And that leads us to Ephesians six ten through 17, I believe. Yes. 
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be, may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins skirt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and that is it for day two of what is spiritual warfare you all have an amazing day on purpose. I love you in the name of Jesus. Till next time.